Berkel and Nets have developed the metaverse, as they like to call it. Some of those people may be familiar with the metaverse and that going on in Facebook and Nike and so on and so forth. So the Brooklyn Nets are the first team to develop a metaverse within their arena for game for basketball games, have a hundred some plus wide cameras all around the court, which feeds which feeds all this electronic type stuff into a 3D monitoring system at whatever studio, and then that gets feed it into a, a metaverse. So, and you could find, I don't know if they're developing or, or if you can currently actually go into that metaverse space, but they're doing that and you can get live game action inside of this metaverse for whatever game is currently going on. And talking about it now in my mind, I'm like, wow, that'll be hella dope. But like, you go to the finals or whatever. So like, all it's it's uh, I don't, I want to say it's not simulated because it's the actual like live game. Live game. game. But but yeah, the Nets are the first to do that. It, it's been going. I won't say it's been going on, but the NBA had been promoting this uh Oculus uh, virtual reality headset. I don't know if y'all like caught those commercials uh, for a while. I want to say they kind of was pumping it heavy during the playoffs. I believe it's called Oculus, and you could be courtside, put this here. Is it Samsung? Because I believe Samsung is a partner. I think Meta or uh, I think Facebook made it or Google. I want to say Google, but I'm not, I'm not, don't, don't quote me. I wouldn't bet my life on it. But yeah, so the Nets are doing this, and it sounds pretty dope from like where the world is headed with Metaverse and so on and so forth. Y'all thoughts on that? I think it's going to be fire. You know what I'm saying? We're going to come to a point in time where it's just like, damn, Edward, I forgot I got to work. Do you want courtside? My, my tickets courtside met, metaverse? Yeah, you can have them. And then, you know, I give you the code, and then all of a sudden, you're right there courtside, or you're on the court watching James Harden cross somebody over and shoot a three. Right now, from what I saw with the nets that they have, right now, the 3D graphic – and the feed going back from what the, what the cameras are showing them at the live game. Right now, the graphics look like 2K12, 2K13. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Just like, as they keep perfecting it. But yeah, but you right there in the game. Look at it live in KD right now. That'll be you right there in the game. Different. I think visually, it's a different feel from us seeing a like almost third person from our phones as opposed to literally being in it and then it, you know. Right. 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 But my thoughts on it, I'm going to go a little deeper than than uh, my boy X-Man did. My fault, I'm having fun with Sedacious name tonight. I don't know why. Uh, but I would prime people to go watch The Matrix again because though The Matrix came out around 2000, 2001, I believe. It's really a documentary um, for life as we're about to know it. 2020 uh, was one of those years where um, it was an important and pivotal year, not only in American history, but I believe just world history, because I believe that was the first chapter and the first official unveiling of the digital world that we're about to kind of cross over into threshold wise or threshold speaking. And I say it from, from this premise, and I'm going to try to be quick. If you go back and watch The Matrix, how Neo and Trinity got plugged in, and every time they got literally plugged in into this digital world, right, you know, their clothes were nicer, more pristine, more, you know, cut. They were able to download fighting programs. Hey, I need to know Kung Fu. Man, the dude was that was back in the real world, downloaded a, a, a whole Kung Fu file for Neo and Neo instantly became like this master, you know, at like 2,200 different martial arts styles. And though a bit hyperbole going on as far as exaggerations, but essentially that's kind of what's going on, right? Like if you look at their clothes from the outer space, like if you kind of look at 2020, right? People work from home you know, majority of the time, right? And now comfort wear is becoming a huge part of everyone's day-to-day -day life. 
not saying people don't care about you know what they wear as much, but we're we I think we're starting to turn the corner and swing the pendulum of hey, um, I think people more so are um, concerned with how they look online, with actually how they look in real life, and you would kind of you know like really come to a census on that just due to the fact that look how many people th walk down the street or, or just be a, or in any social event and count how many people got their phone in their hand, right? And how how glued they are to it. And I just think with all that accompanied in, man, we just, we we literally ushering and stepping into that space. One, the first person um, in one of these um, alternate or virtual realities just bought some virtual real estate. One of the first purchases of virtual real estate in world history. Right. And I believe it went for like half a million or close to a million dollars. And it was a, a state virtually next to Snoop Dogg in his in some type of metaverse stuff. But anyway, yeah, man, the, the future is now type shit. Future definitely is being televised and people need to wake up. You know, it's definitely in face, man. In yeah. addition to going back to watch the Matrix, like Sean Hart is I was saying, I would also <clears throat> charge people to go watch. Ready Player One. If y'all haven't seen that, that's a good, a uh, good movie. Kind of play one, go hard. What's going on with the metaverse? The simulation of the metaverse, and that came out maybe 2019 before, like the pandemic. And you look at where we at now. So, Ready Player One is another good movie. Ready Player One to actually get you excited <laughs> for a metaverse, bro. <laughs> and and bro, honestly, I think like. Cause I, I actually haven't heard of that movie. Y'all gonna have to put me on and talk about that off camera. Um, but I'm gonna definitely go watch it. But honestly, bro, I think it's it's gonna come to a point because reality as we know it, right? It's just a it's just a well known and accepted theory of hey, this is reality. But what if we got to the point, right, in the world to where when we woke up in the morning, the first thing people do is they put on a they put on a reality goggles or they or they're stepping into reality and who's to say the physical world turns into how we view the digital world now right as an escape what if people want to escape reality by let me take off my goggles and you know go be in the physical world but nobody cares about the physical world anymore but everyone has already transitioned into the metaverse I, man i think it's you need to go watch Ready Player One, bro. Everybody. Watch Ready Player One. And minus what you were just saying, Isaac, with the metaverse and the goggles, like, that's already been people's MO psychologically when you get off work and you just want to go play 2K or Madden or, or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you kind of, you, let me try to buy a skin. I'm going to go play 2K back of court. I've really never been a hooper in my life, but I know how to work these sticks. <laughs> nah, so, see. so, yeah, no. Nah, it's going to be the hands. And you got people building hand uh, sensors to go into the metaverse and be able to so you can actually <laughs> feel. And then right. you got your boy Elon Musk create Neuralink, an actual chip in your brain. That's a little too far. Oh, man. Hey, man. Hey, I want I want our audience to look up transhumanism. I don't want us to get cut down on our podcast before we get started, so I ain't going to say too much. But, man, no. hey, that is real, people. It's, and it's around yeah. the corner. They try to, they try to clone you. They, they try, try to, to they integrate try to humans longer. with technology into a full force unison or union, rather, to where you, you know, know it's going to be inseparable. It's gonna to be to the point where you can't have one without the other. Yeah. Hey, 